This video is the first in a series which will describe a new small layout automation system. I call it Easy Automation. The main features of this system are that there's no wiring involved, there are no rail cuts, push-pull trains are accommodated, no PC is needed and it's easy to switch to manual operation. Operation of the automation is defined by a series of single step instructions. There are just four types of instructions. Firstly, the loco instructions, which tell the loco to go in a certain direction at a certain speed. Then there are instructions to set accessories, points, left or right, signals red or green. Then there's delays, you can insert delays into the sequence. And finally, there are train on track indicators, totties, which are spot train detectors, which tell the system when a train has arrived at a certain point. What kind of hardware do you need to run this system? Well, you need three types. And the first is a DCC controller which stores and runs the sequence of events. This is in effect a mini DCC booster. It takes in DCC. The PIC generates the DCC pattern to provide the control of the loco and the accessories. And the power comes out of this controller and is fed directly to the track. And that's the only connection. And then you need DCC decoders for every single accessory. And I f fix my DCC decoders to the actual accessory underneath the point or underneath the signal. Thirdly, you need train detectors, train on track indicators. And in this case, I've used a spot detector based on a light dependent resistor, an LDR. You don't need a PC connected to the layout to run the automation, but you do need a PC to write the sequence and to program the PIC. To start really gently, I'll show you the simplest possible automation sequence. And for this, all we need is the DCC controller. A DMU or loco runs back or forth along a single stretch of track. We just use delays, we don't use any totties, and that makes it very simple. To write the programming sequence, I use a program called Notepad++, which is very convenient for assembler programs. It produces a very nice format. This is how it turns out. The loco starts forwards at speed step 11 and runs for 10 seconds and comes to a stop. It waits for 4 seconds and then goes back at speed step 11 for another 10 seconds before coming to a stop. It waits for four seconds and then we go back to the beginning and it goes through the sequence. And now we have to load the hex file into the PIC on the controller PCB. And for that I use the PIC Kit 2 which I've already plugged into the USB port on the PC. And now I plug it into the controller. I've saved the assembler file and it's been transferred to the microchip IDE. Now I've got to build the hex file. And we have a successful build of the hex file. Now we can put that hex file into the PIC using the PIC Kit 2 menu. Here I'm selecting the file, Easy Automation version 2. Hex file successfully imported. I'm going to write the file into the PIC. And we have a successful download. Now the hex file's loaded into the PIC. Let's see if it works. I switch on the power. And the DMU starts rolling. It travels for 10 seconds and then slows down to a stop. It slows down at the rate set by CV4. It speeds up at the rate set by CV3. Notice that I'm not touching the Roco multi-mouse. <laughs> 